guys, Ashley here. Today I'm gonna to show you a Bujo fitness spread I'm gonna make inside of my Happy Planner. So I went ahead and I've outlined what I wanted to do. So I actually got on Pinterest and I found this really cute spread and I did something very, very similar to it except I flip flop some things around to it. I have dot grid paper here. And as you can see, I went ahead with a pencil and I outlined everything. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in, I have a Micron 03 and I'm gonna use my ruler and I'm gonna go over top of these lines and then we're gonna decorate it together. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. When I'm creating a bujo spread, usually the most tedious part is using the ruler to go over to make the line straight. Now if you don't care about straight lines, like don't worry about it freehand it, don't use the ruler, but I like straight lines so I definitely had to use the ruler, but it's kind of tedious trying to get everything lined up. And then I use dot grid paper, which I absolutely love, but sometimes looking at the dot grid paper for a, for a while makes your eyes like kind of messed up, like you're like, which dot am I looking at? There's so many dots everywhere, right? But um, this is probably the most tedious part, but once you get through, like if you are new to creating Bujo spreads, once you use your pencil, map out a spread, and then you go over it with, um, if you say you wanna use a ruler or whatever, once you get that final like pen marks over it, after that it's smooth selling. And I do encourage you to use a pencil. I will tell you this forever, never, never. Use a pencil first, map out what you wanna do, and then go over it with pen, whether you use a ruler or not, that's entirely up to you. I have the outline finished. It's not perfect. Some of the lines are a little bit longer than the others, but I'm okay with it. I think it turned out really cute. And I wanted to tell you if you wanted to do this, I did 11 across up here and then I, well, let me pull this up so you can see a little better. So I did 11 across up here. I left one dot down the center, 11, there's a dot, 11. And then on the longer, like the, the longer sides, you see how this one's like shorter, that one's longer. So the longer ones I did 24. And then before I did the shorter line, I took a pencil and I just kind of like drew it up to where it would connect to like if I had an imaginary line there. And then I took my pencil and did it. I hope that makes sense and I didn't confuse you, but it's 11 across and then 24 on the longer line on those boxes. Now I'm gonna go in and we're gonna do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think over here is when I'm gonna track my water for the week. Um, each day of the week and then over here I'm gonna track my workouts for each day of the week but first I gotta go pick out some stickers so we can decorate this thing so I'm gonna do the girl with gold stickers from the happy planner because this big section here that's open this one has some really big motivational quotes in here and I thought one of these would be really cute like believe in yourself um, I like this one that says don't ignore your potential. And then there's also some fun little like washi strips and stuff that I can use inside of here and different things. And we'll make this work for fitness related. And um, yeah, that'll be it. So I'm gonna do the decorating part now and I will speed this up for you. Sunset slow, hey, you know you should stay for the All right, now I'm gonna go in with a Micron 05 to do the titles. Now, I 
I'm not a fan of the Micron, but I also am a fan of the Micron. So I like using these pins for outlining stuff for doing like the boxes and a little bit of titling. Now, as far as to actually write in my planner, like writing a lot of stuff, I would not use this pin. To me, the only time I use this pen is whenever I'm creating a boudoir spread and I need to outline something. I do love them for that, but I don't like I don't like the nib of it whenever it comes to actually writing with them. But I do like the 05 with this bolder, um, where it's like bolder compared to the boxes. Does that make sense? I'm losing my words here. Uh, but anyways, I did order a three pack of these from Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. If you do Boudreaux spreads, I do recommend them for that. I just, and maybe, maybe you'll get them and you love them. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of personal preference. I just don't like the nib on it as far as writing goes, but they are really, really good whenever it comes to, uh, creating Boudreaux spreads. And here I just pulled out my planner and the calendar to make sure I was getting the days of the week right. And I wanted to do the days of the week in the bottom little corner of each of those boxes and I kind of made them a little bit taller and made them stand out just a little bit. I really, really love the brush stroke stickers in the sticker book. I think they're so pretty and I really love that purple color. And I love how it comes in different shades too. Now underneath of Tuesday and Wednesday, I went with the uh, big sticker that says don't ignore your potential. I thought this was a really good way to fill up that space. I had thought about doing, making like a bigger angled box there and tracking my mindset for the week but I decided not to because honestly, I have enough stuff that I'm gonna be writing down inside of here and I don't wanna make it more complicated and make it to where I won't actually fill in my planner spread. Cause I've noticed for me, if I over complicate my spreads, if I have too much that I'm trying to track and, and trying to keep up with everything, I just avoid it and I don't do it. And then I ended up kind of just making a spread for nothing, if that makes sense. So I chose to do quote stickers and I put in, I am putting in a few more quote stickers for this week. So for the box that has workouts and water, I went through with a pencil first and I labeled Monday through Sunday. And I did the pencil first because I wanted to make sure I had enough spacing, like the spacing was right and I had enough room to put Monday through Sunday and if not, I needed to change it. So I did that with my pencil first and then I went back over with the Micron. And then that way each day of the week, I can write out what workout I did if I did do a workout and then how much water I drank for each day. All right, now comes the fun part. I found this really cute washi tape on Amazon and I'll have it linked down below. But I found this and I thought since it was neutral, it would look really, really cute with that purple. And then I was also gonna use some washi, washi strips out of the sticker book. So I started layering some washi down. Now I don't normally use washi, but I wanna start using washi more, but I have a ton of skinny washi and I'm wanting to build up my wide washi collection. So. I finally got me some wide washi tape, which is why I'm using it. And I like to pair the wide with the smaller washi. Um, so I did that and I think it turned out really, really cute. All right, here I'm just gonna take a few more of those like paint stroke style stickers and kind of put them on the one on under the workouts and under the water. Those have little sayings on them. And then the two that I put up top, those are just plain ones. Now those stickers are like the clear stickers from the Happy Planner. So if you go to write on those, a pen doesn't really work too well. If I do write on them, I will use a Sharpie 
marker. I have a um, fine point Sharpie marker that I like to write on clear stickers with. And as you can see, I'm just layering some more of those little washi strips down. I felt like on the left page at the top, it was kind of plain and I wanted to add something up there. But what I do on one page, I like to try to do on the other side. It creates some balance. So I layered some more of those washi strips out of the sticker book onto the pages. And then I also pulled in some of that bigger washi tape that I got up, that I got from Amazon and I layered a little bit more with that as well. My friends, the Bujo Fitness spread is complete. Listen, make sure you're following me over on Instagram because I do post after the pin spreads so you guys can see what my spreads look like after I've actually used them because I know I like here I share a lot of before the pin type stuff. I do share my before the pin stuff on Instagram as well, but if you guys want to see after the pin, make sure you're following me over there. I do have that link down below in the description box. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.